With 48 hours to go until Borussia Dortmund's deadline of the 10th of August for Manchester United to sign Jadon Sancho, they have cranked up the pressure to the megawatts with their latest raise of the stakes in this game of Sancho poker, where there's been no budging from Dortmund on the price and no budging from United on the offer. And with this latest bet, as I said, they've cranked up the pressure as much as they possibly can. Now, before I start, I'm sorry that there's so many update videos on Sancho, but that's how this transfer is panning out. Don't shoot the messenger. This is just how it's playing out. It would have been much simpler if United just gave Dortmund what they wanted, but we haven't. And we didn't. And it doesn't look like we're going to. And that's why this is happening. But there's a huge update from Build in Germany this morning that I want to cover in full. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Share if you're watching this on Facebook. But here is the situation with two days to go until that deadline, which has been consistently used by Dortmund for United to sign Sancho. Let's get straight to it and talk about the latest update from Build in Germany, who have consistently really been the voice of Dortmund from the German press. Now, we covered this in full this morning over on the People's Person website, so make sure you head over there, but I'll run through the majority of the details for you. Builds say that United's pursuit of Sancho will come to an end on Monday, one way or another, and they claim that Dortmund are adamant that United either pay 120 million euros in the next 48 hours or Sancho will stay at Dortmund for another 12 months at least. And if he does stay, Dortmund will give Sancho a 66% pay increase to keep him at the club and take away a big bargaining chip of United. So Build really pushing that deadline as the deadline. Either United pay by Monday or Sancho stays at Dortmund. Now, what would that pay increase look like? These are the figures behind it. It would be an increase to 10 million from 6 million, roughly 173,000 a week up from his current 114,000. Bill reports that United would offer much more at 340, but the UK press and Fabrizio have said around about 250,000. Although it's less than what United would offer, it's a massive jump for Sancho if he does stay at Dortmund and they do offer him these increased wages. And Bill go a step further by pointing out that this is not just hot air from Dortmund. It's not just a threat because they have done it before. Robert Lewandowski, he wanted to join Bayern. Bayern wanted to join him. They blocked the move. They gave him an increase in wages for one year before he moved to Bayern. Aubameyang, he was desperate to move to the Premier League. He signed a new contract in the end. He went on increased wages. They also blocked his move for that one year before he eventually did join Arsenal. But they dug their heels in with Aubameyang. They dug their heels in with Lewandowski, two of the major players that have left that club. And they're digging their heels in with Sancho. So there's no reason to suggest that this is just them trying to bully United for the sake of it, to try and force the deal early. As they've shown with previous big players, they've stuck to their guns. And if they do go past Monday... And United do sign Sancho past Monday for less than 120 million. They lose face. And in terms of this, look, this transfer negotiation, game of chess, game of poker, whatever you want to call it, that consistently goes on, Dortmund will believe that they cannot afford to do that. So maybe this deadline has always been more important than we all gave it credit for. And up until this point, Ed Woodward and Matt Judge's game of poker has not worked. They've tried to bully Dortmund and it has not worked. And even though United may feel this deadline is artificial, Dortmund have doubled down. They've gone big with this latest leak to build and the German press to crank up the pressure that little bit more. Maybe to make United realise, look, this is a genuine deadline. What are you waiting for? But these sorts of long drawn out situations we've kind of got used to with United. And it's no different with Sancho because Bill are reporting that still United and Dortmund are dealing through intermediaries. There's no direct contact between the club and because of that, it's slowing down the whole process and stopping it from moving ahead very quickly. And because of that, Monday looks unlikely as a time when United and Dortmund can agree and finalise a deal for Sancho. Because unless now magically Dortmund decide to back down on their price of 120 million euros for Sancho or the structure of the upfront payments and the add-ons and instalments, or United decide to give Dortmund what they want, Sancho will stay at Dortmund for at least another season and on increased wages to reflect his increased importance to that Dortmund side and increased value 
as one of Europe's hottest young players. And at a time like this, if you're Ed Woodward, surely you have to weigh up the risk and return because that's what investments are all about. And he's a banker, so he knows all about investments. That's his game. And this is a game to him. He wants to be the man that gets Sancho for cheaper than Dortmund wanted to sell him at. He wants to hold face of United as, as, a, as a club that can conduct these sorts of transfers and that can't be bullied. But at the same time, Dortmund are trying to save face for the exact same reason, which has created this horrible stalemate. But Woodward, man, at this point, just pay up. The risk of not signing Sancho far outweighs the risk of overpaying for Sancho and other clubs then trying to bully United with artificial deadlines and X, Y, Z that comes further down the line. Dortmund hold all the cards. They've got the player. He won't push to leave Dortmund. He'll happily stay at Dortmund for another season and move next year. But by that point, other clubs might come in. United have had a free run at Jadon Sancho. No other clubs come in. United just need to sort it by Monday. And if that means paying a little bit more up front, then pay that money up front. Get the signing done. At this point, there's more risk in missing out on signing Jadon Sancho than there is on paying Dortmund what they want and other clubs bullying us in the future. That's my own opinion. Clearly, that's not an opinion that's shared by Woodward or United or Matt Judge because otherwise it would have happened by now. But that is the latest from Germany on Sancho. With 48 hours to go, they've effectively gone all in. All the cards are on the table now from Dortmund and it's all over to United to see whether we want to call their all in or whether we want to fold in this game of Sancho poker. What do you expect to happen? I said it right at the start of the week. I'd be surprised if we signed Sancho by Monday and I hope to God still that I'm completely wrong. But as the week has progressed, it's shown why I had those doubts because they've reared their ugly head again and United are stuck in this situation. But let me know what you think. I'll give you any more updates, big updates, as and when they happen across the weekend. But at this point, Dortmund are all in and it's all over to United to show their hand. Do we call or do we fold? Let me know what you think we'll do in the comments below. But by Monday, if build are correct, we'll know either way whether Sancho is going to be a United player next season or a Dortmund player.